<laughs> and Mr. News reporter, man. <laughs> oh shit. Yo. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm gonna turn into Simon Miller all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, look, I'm just saying, man. I'm just, hey, hey, I'm sorry, man. That was, I'm gonna blame the effing vodka, man. I'm blaming the hey, vodka, man. Hey, no, hey, man, look, hey, look, hey, man, look, hey, look, hey, the vodka keeping the show going strong, man. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I feel bad now, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man! Hey, 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 hey I, didn't, I didn't mean to crush your hopes and dreams on my set like that. Hey, Leo says Tuco just very franchise with the Oma statement. Well, all he was trying to do was hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he said Tuco bringing too much logic into this again. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm off my game tonight, man. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm not being my usual self. I apologize. Oh, uh, hey, hey, hey this is the only show, man. This is the only show where we keep it real, and you get a you get punished for. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What is this? this is not, hey, this is not the show I've been subscribing to. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need y'all to go back to that other. No, nah, this this is not what I tuned in for tonight. No, sir. Mm. Ah, my bad. I'm sorry. Look here, man. We on commercial, man. Turn the music back on, man. Let's let's let's. let's yes, sir. People, Kevin Smith <laughs> says, "What do y'all think of Naomi going to Impact?" Good move for her. Um, I think it's a great move for her because it will allow her to go to Impact and work on your craft i honestly going to another promotion kind of having to change up a little bit of who you are is, is a good thing man and it will be a test to whether or not if this is something she passionately is about or not i'm not saying she's going to go there and come back and be the greatest champion ever person ever but she can go there advance herself and come back whenever she feels or go somewhere else and learn something new there and get better so no i think it's it's, it's a great opportunity for her to kind of get away from that and just be on that independent for a while it's, she's a big fish in a small pond it can work out for her or it could fail but you know hopefully we work it, it works out for her hey man so i i i got i got a question for I you right now that west i see you got that west coast dj quick vibe going on hey, okay bro, okay hey, hey bro come on i told you bro it's the block party we got to hit all the coast we got to hit the east coast the midwest the dirty south the west coast hey look we got to we got we got to make sure we touch everybody's musical palette tonight don't worry because we got some of that latin music coming up we got a whole bunch hey look we ain't missing out on nobody but uh yo man so i saw this thing on on, on, on twitter and I'm gonna get your, your opinion on it, man. Your input. Somebody said Turn it that down a little Na- bit before you give me your opinion. Somebody says that Naomi going to Impact could be the equivalent of when Kurt Angle went to Impact. Now we all know mm-hmm. what Kurt Angle is as a performer. We already know that. But I think right. they're not too far off. Naomi is a huge name. Now in WWE, we already knew what it was. Naomi. She didn't not get to where she could have been because she didn't have it. It was a bunch of backstage politics and the stuff that happened. And unfortunately, you had the situation with her and Sasha with the walkout, which kind of, you know, derailed her wrestling path for a little bit. But now she's back. And the reception she's got since going back to Impact has been absolutely outstanding. We talk about Impact, one of the best, we think, we said this many times over, probably the best women's roster in wrestling, period. And now you bring in Naomi, who's an established veteran, Come on, man. Her and Jordan Grace. Her and Deanna Perrazzo. Uh, I guess you can't do Mickey James right now, but then you got like her and so many <clears> other <throat> uh, outstanding women. And in fact, these talk about the Forbidden Door. You possibly got her wrestling some AEW talent, some ROA's talent, some New Japan talent, some AAA talent. What do you think about the assessment that she could have sort of like a Kurt Angle like effect on this Impact Women's roster coming from WWE? Respectfully, it, it, that's a disrespect. Oh, because <clears throat> I say that because Kurt Angle was a different animal. Mm-hmm. Kurt Angle going to Impact was huge because no one saw it coming. 
Yeah. They figured Kurt would just take some time off. I mean, where else was there for him to go? Let's be honest. <clears throat> if it wasn't Impact, I mean, and even though Impact was on the come up at that time, because mm-hmm. they were coming up. I mean, you know, they were, they were, they were, you know, becoming something. Yeah. Um, adding a guy like Kurt Angle did them more favors than anything. But again, we already knew what Kurt Angle was by that time. Kurt Angle was a multi-time WWE champion. The yeah. dude was a wrestling machine. He was putting on great main event. The dude was putting on WrestleMania main event matches, bro. I mean, right. you can't disregard what Kurt Angle did from 99 till about, what, 2006, 2005 when he left and went to, to Impact. So right, you right, have to... Right. <clears throat> and and, and it's, it's not fair to really... And I don't think it's really fair to compare her to Kurt Angle. Mm. I understand what they're saying as far as the namesake of her name and who she is and her going to impact. And I think that she can have a, a, a bit of a she can have a bit of a boost to the women's division over there. Like no doubt. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. As we got uh, uh Seth Rollins doing his suicide dives on solo on the outside. So I I, I have no doubt about that, but I don't know if she's gonna bring that that level of notoriety that came with Kurt Angle. Because when Kurt Angle went, everybody blew their lid like, yo, right, right, this right. dude left WWE and went to Impact. <clears throat> like, yeah. yo. And then when he got there, him and Samoa Joe instantly yeah. got into it. Like, yeah. that was, like, th- th- there was there was levels that, that was, uh, there was levels that she's not, she's not going to hit. And I don't, and I feel like that's disrespectful to her because that's an expectation I don't expect from her. I, right, right, right. She's not a wrestling machine. She's not someone that goes out there like she, th- that's not Naomi. Naomi's more athletic, you know. Yeah. She's not a technician, so I, I wouldn't, <clears throat> I, I wouldn't look at it. I, I, I never looked at it that way. I, mm. I hell, for you to even say that to me. I, that's why my answer is the way it is. Cause it's like, damn, who, who the hell was, who, who came up with that? Who thought that that was the impact she was having? Yeah, it was impactful when she showed up. I'm not right, saying right, it wasn't right. that, but to compare it to Kurt Angle, nah, bro, that was, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, that was. He nah. said, that wasn't. He said, thing. nah. He said, nah, whoa, whoa, daddy, oh, that ain't the business. <laughs> 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 shush, <laughs> shush, please. Because <laughs> that wasn't it. That is not it. Wrestling has more than one royal family. <laughs> <laughs> oh.